tricyclic or tetracyclic antidepressant they act by blocking the transporters of serotonin or non-epiphrine so what happens they block the transporters of serotonin and non-epiphrine so level of these both increases so these are the various uh, tricyclic or tetracyclic antidepressant imipramine desipramine trimipramine amitriptyline nortriptyline protriptyline amoxapine doxepin maprotiline and clomipramine so these are the various important tricyclic tetracyclic uh, antidepressant also called it tcas now their secondary effects uh, also include and they are the primary cause why side effects happen for these uh, uh, class of drug so the, one of the first is blockage of muscarinic and histaminic uh, receptors which leads to the anticholinergic side effect of these class of drugs then also they block alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors and that is the reason why they will cause a lot of postural hypertension especially when the drug is started and the third is blockage of cardiac sodium channels which is the major cause why some of these drugs may cause or aggravate cardiac arrhythmias and seizures so these are the three you know primary class of uh, side effects which are here now let's look at some of the special features now each of these may be will be discussed in pharmacology lecture where we'll deep dive into these drugs on a specific level but let's look at some of the most important points of tcs now uh, clomi uh, clomiferamine that is serotonin selective maximum serotonin selective and desipramine is mostly non-epiphrine selective so these class of drug act both on serotonin and non-epiphrine where but when we talk about the most serotonin selective in this class of drug this is clomiferamine and we talk about most non-epinephrine selective that is desipramine secondly amoxapine has also d2 blocking activity and hence extra par uh, parameter side effects is seen for amoxapine also imipramine is used in treatment of nocturnal enuresis very important mcq and clomiframine can be used as first line in ocd however nowadays we don't use clomiframine as first line in ocd we generally prefer ssris and lastly due to significant anticholinergic side effects these class of drugs are almost never used in you know glaucoma and bph patients so this is all about tricyclic or tetracyclic antidepressants